news and tornadoes possible, check out our local sponsor, Death by Metal STL. Some of the most amazing interviews with some of the biggest metal bands in the industry. Check these guys out at www.deathbymetalstl.com. One of the best metal magazines in the industry, always supporting the independent artists and always pushing independent music. Remember, you heard it right here on The Pit. What's going on, guys? I am back. Oh, man. Killer fucking set list, man. It's actually a set list from last week I didn't get to play. And I think I played, like, one song. Um, Dude, uh, I got to say a shout-out right now to my boy, Paul Baxter. If you're listening out there, and I'm hoping you're listening, uh, I'm actually going to go out to Winsville here and jam with him and his new band. And uh, I'm going to try out for these guys. So I might actually uh, possibly be going to another project. And uh, I've been on Paul for a while. He's a good dude. And he's a very talented guy. And he uh, knows a lot of other talented guys. And he and I uh, definitely understand that when you're a musician and you know, you work in the scene, no matter where you are as a, as a working musician, you got to work your ass off and you got to be talented at what you do. And the only way to make it is being surrounded by other people who are, are talented on the same level. You know, I mean, a lot of us have been to shows, and uh, we've seen that band who is awesome, but has that one guy in the band <coughs> that isn't very good. <laughs> we all know, like, man, that bass player is fucking really off. What the fuck is going on with that guy? Or, like, the whole band's great and the drummer sucks, and that's, like, the worst thing that could happen. I mean, dude, you're sitting there and fucking crazy. You're like, what the fuck, man? Like, you just feel bad for him because you're like, if they could just find that one guy, that one dude, they'd be fucking set. Or you're just missing that one guy in general and you just don't feel you found anybody good enough to uh, fill in that position as a band. You know, a lot of people who are musicians, we, we, we think about it a lot as a profession and uh, as a family, too when you're in a band because you're not just having a business these are your brothers and your sisters or, or however you see it and uh there you gotta be with good people you have to be with people you can work with and get along with i mean that's just the way it is so uh again give a shout out to my boy paul thanks for listening we appreciate it uh, you you guys are awesome and uh, hopefully i'll be seeing you soon um want to give a shout out to my boy right now jason brown because I know you've been waiting all motherfucking day for us to go live. I'm sorry, guys. I had to do some updates and get some things together. And I did that. Everything's all good. A lot of work got done today. So on that note, we are on air. And we're going to be going for maybe even a fucking five-hour show today. I'm thinking maybe, you know, we went on at like 5.30. Let's go to 10.30. The fuck? Why not? You know? Fuck it. So, uh... Yeah, I have a whole playlist a little later coming up before our uh, show announcements. And uh, there's a whole fuck ton of new bands I got to put out today. And I mean, I still got, I don't know, 40 or 50 emails to download and go through and, and review still of bands that sent me submissions while we were down for a couple weeks. And I'm still going through all the emails. I've gone through like probably 200 something emails. In the last couple of days, I've deleted a lot, and I just had to be fair and be real with a lot of guys out there listening, or the listen to the show and tune in. Um, sometimes, if you send me a submission, you send it to me three or four or five times, and you're like, "Why is my stuff not on the show?" Um, that's my polite way of rude, uh, of not being rude and telling you that your shit sucks and it's not good enough to be on my show. Um, but that's usually the case. I mean, I know I'm I'm the elitist metal asshole, so you kind of have to understand that because I have to follow in par with the other elitist metal assholes, so they're happy. You know, I mean, I, I hate to say it, but they fucking they make or break you in the industry in the metal. I mean, that's just the truth. I mean, the the most critical people are the ones that will make you look at yourself the most, and I think it's good that they exist. I think it's really good. A lot of people hate on elitism and elitist, but you know what? I think they're actually a good element, and the reason I think that they're a good element is because they make you think about your shit. They make you seriously 
self-conscious of your of your own material. And now that that might be bad sometimes, but I don't think that it's bad all the time because if you go too long without being critical of yourself in any sense, you're not going to write really good material. You're not going to write the next awesome fucking riff. You're not going to write the the next badass fucking breakdown. I mean, that's just the way it is. I mean, we just got to be real with ourselves and real with how the world works. So the way I I look at it is that if you're going to do it, do it right. Don't worry about people. If they're critical of you, let them be critical of you. You want that constructive criticism. It's good for your reputation. It's good for your character. It's good for your professionalism. Because it also teaches you how not to act towards people being rude. Like, I could just be like, fuck you, your shit sucks, I'm not going to play it on my show. But instead, you know, I might be like, well, you know, this needs to be fixed or that needs to be fixed. Like, I'll, I'll be nice about it. I'm not an, an outright asshole. You know, I can be an asshole if you get snobby and you, you're like, my shit's the best metal in the world, and blah, 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 and then I listen to it and it's fucking shit. Then I might be a dick. <laughs> then I might tell you to fuck off and don't quit your day job. But... In the meantime, I have to say that out of all the submissions that I got, there were a huge percent of them that were just really fucking good metal bands. Like, good as fucking, the production is good, the vocals are good, the drums, everything is so fucking good, I can't get over it. So, I want to share that with you on these shows every week. And now, tonight is a special kind of broadcast that we're going to start doing every week, because I think that... There aren't enough Monday Night Metal shows that aren't shit, okay? And most of them are shit, and I've looked for a few that aren't, and I have yet to find a good one that isn't shit. I mean, I've tried. I really have fucking tried, and every time, it's just, they always play something that makes me turn it off. Like, seriously, they'll play some bullshit, like... I've listened to a couple of satellite radio stations, and I thought, hey, man, this this is a fucking cool Monday Night Metal show. Finally, fucking, they're bringing back the old school feel, man. And then they played some fucking gay-ass five-finger death punch, and I was like, up, oh, turn it off. And that was it, and I was fucking done, and I was like, ah, shit, can't do this now, now what? So, that, that, I mean, that's just how people look at the market. I, it's how I look at the market. So you got to think about it like, if you're going to be professional at this at all, in your sense, as a professional... You got to take it seriously, you know. And I mean, and you got to accept everybody for their point of view and even their concern, even their criticisms. Excuse me. Um, so that's just my outlook on the metal community. So think what you will. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but that's just what I think. I, I think the elitists are not necessarily a bad thing all the time, but I think they're a necessary evil, so to speak. So just my thoughts for the day. I've got some more really badass students coming up. I mean, I've got a whole fucking night of tunes, and that's pretty much where we're, we're just going to go in for hours and hours of fucking metal. I mean, the fucking no more bullshit Monday Night Metal shows. Let's just fucking play some brutality and stop fucking around, right? Well, let's get into this. Here's this fucking next lineup coming up. I got some AES coming up with The Devil in Me, Human Humanity's Last Breath, Human Swarm, Make Them Suffer, Who Never Bloom, uh, Legion by Compelled to Destroy, Despised Icon, Day of Mourning, I the Breather, Longevity from Atlantis, Mammon, Monuments, Origin of Escape, and then we'll be back with a couple words from our sponsor, and uh, I'm going to talk some more shit, because that's what I do. Motherfucker, motherfucker. You listen to the pit.
You're fucking dead to me! You bitch of shit! Oh.